Welcome to Tor Beta Math. Expanding double brackets. Let's have a look at the first example. x minus 3 in brackets, bracket x plus 4. What we're going to do here is we've got to multiply this x by this bracket x plus 4 and this minus 3 by this bracket x plus 4 as well. When we do that it would look like this x from here bracket x plus 4 and minus 3 remembering the sign bracket x plus 4 so that's turned it into two lots of single brackets when I multiply this out I'm going to get x squared plus 4x x times x is x squared x times 4 is 4x then when I multiply this out I'm going to get minus 3x minus 12. Looking at that I can see that the two middle terms here are both in x and therefore I can simplify it plus 4x minus 3x becomes 1x which of course I just show as x and I get my answer x squared plus x minus 12. Look at the second example. Again what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 2x by this bracket x minus 4 and plus 5 by this bracket x minus 4 and this is what it's going to look like 2x bracket x minus 4 plus 5 bracket x minus 4 and I'm going to work them out as single brackets again 2x times x 2x squared 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x and this one is going to be plus 5x minus 20 5 times x, 5x, plus 5 times minus 4, minus 20. Again, in the middle here, I've got an x term that I can simplify. I've got minus 8 plus 5 of x's, which is going to give me minus 3x in the middle. So when I've completed that one, I've got the 2x squared term, minus 3x, minus 20. And that's that one completed. Look at this particular special case. 2x minus 3 in brackets, all squared. We know what squared means. We know that squared means multiplied by itself. So if we showed that as two brackets, it would look like that. 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. And you would just multiply that out as you would with the ones above. Now some people find some difficulty with this method, particularly remembering to do all the sign work here. And therefore, there's another system which you might find easier to apply in practice. Look at this example. k minus 3 brackets k plus 4. And what I've done here is I've taken the first bracket and put it here as k and minus 3. And the second bracket as k and 4. Now I've left the plus sign off the 4 because everywhere we use a plus we can leave it out like here this is really plus k and this is also really plus k and I've built this grid which is going to be a multiplication grid so the first thing I'm going to do is multiply these k's together and get plus k squared then I'm going to multiply the k by the minus 3 and get minus 3k this one I'm going to multiply the k by the 4 and get plus 4k and then lastly, I'm going to do the 4 times the minus 3, and I'm going to get minus 12. I notice again that I've got these four terms, like I got with the other method, and these two terms will simplify. So if I look at that, I've got k squared here, plus 4k minus 3k gives me k, and the minus 12 comes here. So that's my answer. Here's another example, p minus q, brackets 2p minus 3q. Again, I've drawn the grid, put p minus q, 2p minus 3q here, and again, I start multiplying out 2p times p, 2p squared, 2p times minus q, minus 2pq. This one is going to be minus 3pq, 
minus 3q times p. And lastly here, I've got a minus times a minus, so that's going to be a positive answer. And it's going to be 3q squared. Minus 3q times minus q is 3q squared. So when I write that one out, I've got in the middle here terms that can be simplified. Minus 3pq minus 2pq, which is going to give me minus 5pq in the middle. So when I write that out, I get 2p squared minus 5pq plus 3q squared. Here's another example like the one I showed before where it's a squared. And what that means is 5 minus t squared means 5 minus t times 5 minus t. So I fit it into the grid that I have done before. Start multiplying it out. 5 times 5, 25. Minus t times 5, it's minus 5t. Again, minus t times 5, minus 5t. And lastly, minus t times minus t is going to give me plus t squared. Looking again at these two terms, I can simplify them to make minus 10t. So I have t squared minus 10t plus 25 is my answer. I could have written that round the other way as 25 minus 10t plus t squared. It would still have been the same correct answer. And lastly, let's have a look at this interesting one. This is y minus 4 in brackets times y plus 4 in brackets. Let's see what happens here. y times y again, y squared minus 4 times y gives me minus 4y. Plus 4 times y gives me plus 4y. And 4 times minus 4 gives me minus 16. Now I notice that these two terms, plus 4y, minus 4y, means that I don't have any y's left. And so my answer is going to look like this, y squared minus 16. And this one is called the difference of two squares, because y squared and 16 are squares. Thank you for watching.